Hey y'all, it's Betsy. Today we have a fun makeup video for you. I got in some new products, so I figured we would try them out together and see what we thought. First thing I purchased was I purchased the Too Faced, let's see, it's super shiny, Natural Face, which includes two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers. And one of the bronzers is Shimmery, which is this top one called Sunny Honey. The bottom one is a satin finish, a matte finish blush, a shimmer blush, and two highlights. So I have all my foundation and all that fun stuff, but I don't have my eyes done because I end my blush and bronzer and highlight yet because I wanted to show off these. And then I also bought the Too Faced Natural Matte. I figured this would be a good everyday go-to neutral palette and just a matte finish. I didn't get the one with shimmers. I have shimmers in every palette imaginable. And then I also bought the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine in the shade Back Talk because I've really been into glossy lips lately. So I figured we'd kind of get together and see how these products performed. Now, part of the reason why I ordered this, and this is gonna sound silly, but they use coconut uh, oil in it, and it smells like coconut, it smells so good. So what we're going to go ahead and do is dig into this palette, and I'm going to dig into the color cleavage right here, which is like, a dusty brownish mauve it's almost a cool tone shade to use as my transition shade and I'm just using a BH Cosmetics crease brush and we're just gonna create a nice soft neutral eye So far, these have some pigment to them. I mean, you can see a difference with where I'm using this color versus on the other eye where there's nothing. But we'll see how they blend. So, anyways, I did, as I said, I didn't get the one with the shimmers in it. I have shimmers in just about every palette you can think of. And I have some matte palettes, but I don't have anything that is just a neutral matte like this. Like I have the um, Just Peachy mattes, but that has more warm tones. So I'm going to use now to deepen up my crease this shade Risky Business, which is a little bit more warm tone. And I'm using it on my Morphe M507, which is just a little bit of a smaller crease brush. But so far, the colors have pigment. They are blending out, as you can see. Nice and pretty. And I typically do something with shimmer, but I figured this might be something very easy to grab to use with like all my Stila glitters <laughs> because I have so many shades. And I love eyeshadow palettes. And this palette retails for, I think it's 38, and then the face palette is 44. Um, and then the lip gloss is 20, but I used my Ulta points to purchase it all, and I didn't pay anything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more definition and drama. So I'm gonna use my Morphe M506 and I'm going to go into this color Risky Business, which is like a cool tone brown shade. And we're just going to lightly layer that on to the outer portion of my eye. Not bringing it all the way into the crease, just keeping it on that outside. Now to make sure everything's blended together, I'm grabbing that same original BH Cosmetics brush and just slight windshield wiper motions and making sure everything is nice and smooth. 
Now I think for my lid, I'm going to use this color called Lace Teddy. It's just a nice dusty pink and I'm using the number seven brush by BH Cosmetics. It's from the It's My Ray collection. There we go. Nice and soft. And to go under the eyes, I'm going to use that same warmer shade, the color called Hookup. And we're just going to use that to smudge under our lower lash line. And I'm just using, this is the brush from the Urban Decay After Dark palette. Urban Decay, for the most part, their brushes that come with their palettes are pretty darn good compared to some. I know some people won't use them, but to me, if you've got it, you might as well use it. And it works well for smudging under the eyes. So there we go. Now, I'm going to take my M507 brush again and I'm going to go into this white shade called Heaven. And we're gonna use that to highlight the brow bone. That looks very pretty. Make sure all my edges are blended again using that original BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm gonna use that same M507 brush with the color Heavenly, and I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner. There we go. That looks pretty darn good, if I say so myself. I like how these are performing. In Too Faced lately, you know, they've had some misses in the last year, but with some of their collections, but with their palettes that they've released lately, like the Chocolate Gold, uh, I really like the Lysa Festival palette as well, and pinching my eyelid. And the Clover palette have been pretty good, so they're, they've stepped up their quality in their eyeshadows. And because I ordered so much Too Faced, I got a miniature Better Than Sex mascara, so I figured we'd go ahead and use that. My other tube I had dried out, because it's a good mascara. It goes on beautifully. I know a lot of people, it is their favorite, but I have a lot of mascaras that I like more. It's a little dry for me, I guess is the problem. Like, I like a, a little bit more liquidy formula. Um, it doesn't seem to dry out as fast. But it is a good mascara, it's just not my favorite. So now there the eyes are done. So I guess let's go ahead and dig into the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I'm going to use the Tropic Like It's Hot on my Morphe M530 brush to bronze up the face. Now that has some pigment, a little bit more than what I was expecting, but I can blend that out with some blush. didn't go as heavy handed on this side. And so far this collection, I seem to like, cause it's got a lot of, I like the warm, like I like this bronzer a whole lot. I like the way that it goes on. It layered over my foundation perfectly and I'm using the Too Faced, just peachy foundation today. 
Now I'm going to dig into the blush shade called Pink Sand and I'm using just a big Morphe powder brush just to go ahead and dust that off. That has a beautiful rosy glow. Very natural looking. Now I think I'm going to use, I'm using my Morphe M510 and I'm going to use the shade Satin Sheets as my highlight today. pretty good now I will tell you this on this on the natural face palette I probably will never use the shade sunny bunny it is pretty but it is a little bit too shimmery for me and but the highlights I will definitely use again it gives a nice glow without being too blinding I like Especially with a makeup look like today, I like a more natural look. So we'll go ahead and set our face. I'm using the MAC Fix Plus, the coconut scent. As I said, I love coconut. And I always set my makeup, and part of the reason why I set my makeup is I like for all of the powders to melt into the skin. I don't like it to look heavy where there's a lot of powder on your skin. Now to test out the lip gloss. I liked the shade Back Talk. It looked pretty online when I ordered. It's pretty, but I'm not sure if there's not a whole lot of pigment to it. I guess I was expecting it to be a little bit more opaque, especially whenever there's no sh real shimmer or anything to it. Um, but I'd use it again. It has like a, it tastes like double mint gum. It's a little on the sticky side, but nothing bad. Um, but I do like the finished look. Um, I really enjoyed the natural matte palette. And it's funny because even the banding on the outside is more of a matte finish gold and the packaging is just adorable. That's part of the reason why I love Too Faced is I adore their packaging. And some of the colors I didn't use, we'll go ahead and swatch. Some of them are very, very close to my skin tone, but there you go. I mean, they swatch beautifully and they blend it out really, really pretty. So, I mean, for the money, I would say it's a, a definitely a worth it palette. Um, and I like to purchase palettes for face products. Um, I don't, I've never actually hit pan on eyeshadow or blush. I'm going to try to this year, but I like to purchase palettes for it because then I get a little bit more variety with it. Other than that, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Um, also, don't forget to check me out on all my social medias, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. My second channel's Cut in Corners Vinyl um, as well. Other than that, uh, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button down below that will, and the bell and notification icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos. That's part of the reason why if you're not subscribed or you don't have that notification on, you won't be notified whenever I post new videos. And I will be doing the removal of my nails tonight. So for Friday's video, we will do a tutorial on how to use the red carpet manicure dip nails but i think that's it so thanks and y'all have a great day